Here's problem 815. A skier weighing 0.8 kilonewtons comes down a frictionless ski run that is circular, r is equal to 30 meters, at the bottom as shown. If her speed is 12 meters per second at point A, what is her speed at the bottom of the hill, point B? Alright, so we have two points here to consider already, point A and point B. We we'll probably want to know what the difference in height is between those two points. If I select B as being my zero height, then I want to find out where A is above that. So that's going to be this distance right here, which I'm going to call H. Well, if I look at the full radius of this circle, that would be R here, and then look at this triangle here, this 40 degree triangle, right triangle, I have on this side a distance equal to r cosine theta. So the difference between those two is going to be h. In other words, h is going to equal r minus r cosine theta. And in this case, that's going to be 30 meters minus 30 times the cosine of 40. And that is equal to 7.2 meters. Good to know. And we also know that our velocity at point A is 12 meters per second. So we're ready to employ the one equation to rule them all. Kinetic energy at A plus potential energy at A plus any work done along the way equals the kinetic energy at B plus the potential energy at B. No springs to worry about and no external forces to worry about, no friction either, so there's no work done along the way. And all of our potential energy will be gravitational. Uh, we do have kinetic energy at A, but we don't have potential energy at B because that's our lowest height. So we define that to be zero and there's no springs to worry about. So what we're left with is one half the mass times the velocity at A squared plus our gravitational potential energy at A, mgh, is equal to the kinetic energy at B, one-half mass, times the velocity at B squared. And we want to find the velocity, the speed, at the bottom of the hill, which is point B. Looking at this, we can eliminate mass, because it's in each one of these terms. This is not always possible, um, but it's great to have now. Let's multiply both sides by 2 and take the square root. So we have the velocity of B is going to equal the velocity at A squared plus 2GH all this square root. So that's going to equal 12 squared plus 2 times 9.8 times 7.02 all this square root. And what's that? 16.78 or we'll say 16.8 meters per second. So using the one equation to rule them all, the velocity, the speed at point B is 16.8 meters per second. Answer.